Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Faye from Blue Tree Education Learning Center. Are you ready to learn math with me? Let's go! Lily and Megan had an equal number of coins. Lily had equal number of 50 cent coins and 20 cent coins, while one quarter of Megan's coins were 50 cent coins and the rest of her coins were 20 cent coins. So Lily had $13.50 more than Megan. Part A, find how many coins did each girl have. So I have a simple data table with the information that Lily has one unit for 50 cents and one unit for 20 cents. And for Megan, it is actually one unit is to three units. Since they had an equal number of coins, so I have to ensure that one plus three is four units. And therefore for Lily's coins are multiplied by two to make them two units and two units, which makes four units as well. So when we take a look at Lily's coins, Lily has two units of 50 cent coins, so two times 50, which is applying the concept on quantity times value, plus two 20 cent coins, so two times 20, and this total amount is 140 cents. We repeat the same step for Megan's money, which is one times 50 cents, plus three times 20 cents, which amounts to 110 cents. When we do a one set comparison using 140 cents minus 110 cents, you get 30 cents. This is what we call the small grouping or the small gap. And as for the big gap or the big difference, it is one, uh, $13.50, which we have converted into cents. So that's 1,350 cents. When we take big gap divided by small gap, you will see that you will get the answer 45 coins which means that one unit is equal to 45 coins. How many coins did each girl have? Look back at the table. Each girl is supposed to have four units. So 45 times four, which will give you 180 coins. Each girl has 180 coins. So let's take a look at part B. Megan decided to exchange all her 20 cent coins for 50 cent coins of the same value. What was the percentage increase in her number of 50 cent coins? So the table with two units for Lily, uh, 50 cents and two units for 20 cent coins. And Megan has one unit of 45 coins and three units is 45 times three, which is 135 coins. So Megan will use all the 135 coins, okay, multiply by 20 cents to find out that it's actually worth 2,700 cents, which is actually $27, to be exchanged with 50 cent coins, which will result in 54 coins. This is a very important question because this is always tested in PSLE to find the percentage increase, percentage change or percentage decrease. This is a very popular question. So make sure you learn this. Remember, to find a percentage increase is always a difference over the original times 100. And since they're asking about the percentage increase in the number of 50 cent coins, make sure you take reference with the 50 cent coins. And so the difference is 54 and the original, go back to the table and have a look. The original was 45 coins. So therefore, 54 divided by 45 times 100. And that will give you 120% and that's the percentage increase.